Hey, what is going on YouTube, Major G? Um, I am late on this because I have been out in Flagstaff all day. Um, once again, that is like a day trip for me. Um, went out there and saw a couple movies. And it was hard to, to be on social media because I actually had a decent signal out there. And try to avoid these freaking Titan spoilers. Because apparently the Titans trailer came out this morning. Um, and everybody's posting primarily the same thing. So I do know there's one thing on there. Because I can't seem to get away from it because it's everywhere. Which is the, apparently there's some kind of F Batman thing with Robin. Um, I tried not to pay attention to what he looks like. Um, but they're still posting the words. Um... So, you know, you guys got to be careful. These folks got to be careful with these spoilers out here. Like, the trailer just came out. Um, apparently, we're going to see what these guys look like. I know there have been, uh, like, set shots from a few months ago. And I promised I wouldn't actually... I, I promised I would reserve judgment for the actual trailer. Here it is. We finally got the trailer. And I, that's right, it's Comic-Con, it's SDCC right now, um, and that's why we're getting a trailer for this. So there are probably going to be some other really big trailers pop coming out uh, this uh, for the next few days. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and get on with this. Alrighty. Let's do it to it. Hmm. So Dick Grayson's older. That is Hawking, though. Sometimes when I feel the darkness, it feels good. My mom says there's no such thing as monsters. I used to think that. I was wrong. Okay. All right. Um, you know what? I'm going to watch this one more time. Yeah, I'm going to watch this one more time. So we got Raven looking for Robin. I guess. Or, no, no, that's probably his Whoa. memories. Everything led me here. To you. You're the boy from the circus. Because that's all grayed out, so that's probably his memory that she's in. Please. 
please. Can you help me? Madness, madness. Where's Batman? I do like the look of that though. Fuck Batman. There's something evil inside of me. You're scared. I get it, but you can control it. You don't know what I've become. Sometimes, when I feel the darkness, it feels good. There's no such thing as monsters. I used to think that. I was wrong. Madness, madness. You know that title, that title thing right there looks a little cheesy. Um, there were a couple parts that looked a little cheesy, to be honest. Um, but overall. I do feel like I I need to see more of this because this really was just a teaser. Um, we didn't really see much of anything. I know fans are going to be really pissed off because um, because Robin is, because Dick because Dick Grayson's using guns apparently. Um, I think that's what that was. Uh, it looked like Dick Grayson was using guns. Um, And I think some people were upset about the uh, Starfire's look, and um, I'm okay with it, honestly. Um, once again, do need to see more of it, because they showed her only in glimpses. We didn't see much of Beast Boy. Beast Boy was green, I think. He was green. And I think in the, in the set photo... They were showing that he would only had green tinged hair, I think was what it was. Let me see. No, so he is green. So I guess what they did was they went into, they either did, they probably did this in post production, turning him green. Um, Rather than just, like, put green makeup on him. And... I'm looking at Starfire's out outfit. And it does look... It does look... It's... What's the word I'm looking for? It's inspired... There we go. It's inspired. It's obviously inspired by what she wears in the comics. Um... Her overall look, though, I'm looking at it now in freeze frame. Um, oops. I'm looking at it now in freeze frame, and I'm not completely opposed to it. I gotta say that. I'm not really that opposed to it. Um, and I know... Wait a second. Is that like a hawk and dove thing? Maybe. I don't know. But I'm not completely opposed to the look. Uh, and this is why this is why when the set photos came out, people started griping. I was like, no, I don't want to see the set photos. I want to see what it actually looks like, and I'm going to wait for the trailer. Um, and in the trailer, it I don't think it looks all that bad. Like, once you actually get a decent look at it... Um, I don't feel like it looks all that bad. Um, now, the th thing about that is I don't remember her having actual, like, fire powers. I don't know where that came from, the whole fire thing. Her, like, her hair was fire. I remember that. Her hair turns to fire. But I don't remember her projecting fire from her hands like that. But maybe that's because I haven't... To be honest, I'll be honest, I haven't read much of the Teen Titans comic. I'm mostly familiar with Teen Titans from the animated show. Um, and in the animated show, she doesn't pro project fire. It's um, 
though I do know in the comics, her hair is actually fire, or it looks like fire. Um, and... Yeah, this is obviously looking to go pretty dark. Um, Raven, from what I was looking, seems somewhere between cheesy and interesting. Um, and that might be because of her youth. Um, it looks like Raven is the youngest one out of all of them, I think. Because Dick Grayson apparently is a young police officer. And Starfire looks like she's probably in her late teens. And where was Beast Boy? Uh, Beast Boy... Yeah, Beast Boy is looks like he's probably about mid-teens. Uh, did they show... They showed something about him. No. What was the thing with his eyes? Oops, they did something with his eyes earlier. Yeah, that's actually a really good image of Starfire. I actually, I think it was just too fast to tell, but I think that's a good image of Starfire, um, and that's probably a post-production thing, which is like that one. I actually like that image, um, which is why they probably threw it in the trailer, because it looks really cool. Yeah, Beast Boy looks like he could be in his mid-teens. So that would make Raven probably the youngest of the... It looks like Raven's going to be the youngest. Um, so that's probably why she seems like a, a mixture between cheesy and cool. Because we're not really used to Raven being that young. Or if we are, because of the Teen Titans cartoon, Raven was a lot more in tune with herself. Um... Yeah, in the, in the animated show, she's a lot more in tune with herself. Whereas this Raven, it seems like completely isn't. Like, it seems like she was primarily raised by her mother and doesn't really know anything about her dad or her powers. Um, and that's just speculation at this point for me. Um, but some of the things that it looks like they're doing with her are actually pretty freaking cool. Like, uh, like some of these this power stuff they're doing with... Where, like, she's... The thing with her in the mirror, that was actually... I thought that was pretty cool, and that's kind of Ravenish if she's not really, um, used to herself. Um, I'm... The way I'm gonna liken this is I'm gonna liken this to probably the X-Men... The X-Men, um, animated show. Um, the one from the 90s, which was kind of a, uh... What do you call it? Which basically like followed Jubilee for the first year or first season or so. And that's I feel like that's what they're doing with this Teen Titan series is that most of the other Titans seem to be really in tune with themselves. Um, I mean, Starfire, of course, would be. Um, Beast Boy probably could be, depending on where he is in his development. Um, but Raven, it looks like we're following Raven. And that's what it seems like. Um where, like, Jubilee was kind of learning about herself and her powers and all that stuff. Um, and that's where it seems like we're, we're doing with Raven. It's, it looks like we're, we're following Raven as Raven develops, meets these people, and learns to develop herself and her powers. Um, now, because there's not going to be a... They don't have, obviously, from the F Batman uh, thing, we're not going to have uh, an oversight. Um, so there's not, so there's probably, there's not going to be a, t uh, a Titan's Tower, uh, like there is in the comics and, and in the series. Um, so, I mean, I don't know, they're probably, they might do the, um, the abandoned gas station of Solitude. 
or something like that. Um, and yeah, so I'm I'm actually really curious about this. I want to see where where they're going with this. I really do. I want to see where they're going with this. But at this point, there's really just not enough to tell how it's going to go. And I know other people are just griping about it. But I feel like I've picked this apart for a while. And honestly, I think Hawk and Dove are the ones I don't know the most, are the ones I know the least about. Um, and that's because they're like background characters for the most part. Um, but yeah, looks like Dick's already established himself in Bloodhaven. And this that's probably what this is. This is probably going to take place in Bloodhaven if Dick is on his own and he's a cop. Um... But this is his time. This is before he he becomes Nightwing, um, because if he's like F Batman, he doesn't want anything to do with Batman. So he's in a different place, which would probably make this Bloodhaven. Um, but yeah, once again, very curious about where they're gonna go with this. I do want to see more before um, I before I, I really uh, judge it or anything like that. And you know, I'm pro I'm. I'm definitely going to watch the first season. It's just a matter of when. Um, and, yeah, so how did you guys feel about this? Um, I mean, do you do you agree with my assessment on this? Because um, I feel like I, 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 I really put some thought into this. Uh, I'm not just raging on it like some upset fanboy. Um, so, yeah, let me know what you guys think about this. Uh, let me know in the comments like comment subscribe share and uh, until next time be excellent to one another and party on dudes oh that's right there is one more thing i, I forgot to mention <laughs> i know i'm blabbing on about this um i'm i think another reason some from what I, I don't know i don't know i don't i haven't really looked at a lot of other people's comments on this because i was trying to i was trying to save my own judgment um but between the F Batman and Dick being extremely brutal, which he actually is in the comics, it's he is actually more brutal on on people than kind of than Batman is, um, from what I remember in the comics. Um, so there is that. He he is the he is known. I think Tim Tim is probably the gentlest of the Robins, from what I remember. Um, Jason Todd by far is the most brutal. No, 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 sorry. No, 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 no. Damien. <laughs> Damien's the most brutal, followed by, followed very closely by Jason Todd. Um, then Dick Grayson and, uh, and of course, Stephanie Brown. Um, actually, what's that girl's name? I forgot. The one from Frank Miller. She's probably the gentlest, but that's because Carrie. Carrie has the least amount of skill. She was she wasn't really trained by Batman, um, but yeah. So Dick is actually pretty brutal on foes. Uh, so I mean there is that. Uh, so I mean I'm okay with that in terms of him like being pretty brutal on the foes because most of the Robins generally are pretty pretty brutal. So yeah, once again, be excellent to one another and party on, dudes. Oh, they gave her tele uh, telepathy. This is the white lighter. No. Yeah, he's the white lighter.